Hello, and welcome to Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. My name's Michelle Fitzgerald, AKA Fitzy. <laughs> I'm a Creative Memories Independent Advisor, and I'm here to help you make your scrapbooks fabulous. So today what I wanted to do is talk to you about the different blades that we have with the 12 inch trimmer and show you three blades, not just two, but three that do double time. I thought there were only two, so I was really surprised to find that the, there's a third one that can give you two different looks as well. So let me just go over here to my workspace and we'll get this started. So here's my trimmer, <laughs> but before we get to that, I just want to give you a quick reminder that you are watching Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. And I'm going to put a little light on here too, just to make it a little easier to see things. Hopefully that's helpful. And with Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks, you're going to get some techniques, some tips, some tricks, and lots of scrapbooking and card making and crafting advice. Our tools are multi-purpose by the way, so they're not just for scrapbooking, they're for any type of paper crafting, which is really, really awesome. It makes us so versatile. My Facebook group is FRQ Glitz Girl Scrapbooking Group. We're a free community of scrappers where we share, we learn, we get motivation, we support each other, and we just have a lot of fun. I've had a few of you YouTubers join the group recently, and I hope more of you will do so as well. Uh, and welcome to all of you who have joined. I It can be reached by email if you have any comments or questions. Uh, my email is Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks at gmail.com. And if you decide that there are things you're looking for and you're looking for an advisor, feel free to check out my website at www.creativememories.com forward slash user forward slash Michelle Fitz. All right. And I hope today that when the video is over, you'll hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe as well and click on that cute little bell icon. That'll give you a notification every time I put out a new um, video and stay tuned every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Guess what? I'm here. <laughs> so thanks for watching and let's get to it. This is the um, upside down look at the 12 inch trimmer. Now, the reason why I'm showing you is because I want you to see the awesome storage that we have for everything regarding the trimmer. So over here, I store an extra mat and this is where I store all of my blades. Now, these are not all of the blades I own. I have a few pulled out here and you'll see why in a moment. Um, I always keep an extra straight blade handy. I have a straight blade in my housing unit right now, but just in case I never want to be caught without. So I always have an extra straight blade on hand and an extra mat. All right. So we're going to flip this over and put this down for now. I wanted to show you all of the different cuts you can get with the different blades. Now I'm gonna hold this sheet closer to the camera so you all can get a better view. But one thing I wanted to show you, and I didn't realize, the Victorian blade actually can give you two different looks. Now the Victorian blade, I will say the looks are very subtle. So the differences in the looks are very subtle. So if you look at these two top ones here, if you look at this one, see how there's little points here every so often? That's the difference. And they kind of show up better up top. See those points? And, and down here, there are no points. So it is a different look. It's a very subtle difference, but it's a different way to use it. It gives you a different look. So it's up to you which way you want to do it. 
And then moving down to the stamping, the stamping blade, you can see that there's a very obvious difference with these two looks, right? So you've got this one here, and that's that real postage stamp look. But here's the after effect, very different. So two different looks from one blade. And then the scallops here, again, the same thing. This one looks very scallop-like, right? But this one looks like little ocean waves to me. All right, so those are the two different looks you get from the scallop blade. Then we have the deckle blade and the wave blade. And there's not a whole lot of difference between those two. Um, they pretty much come out the same. Um, so those are some of the blades. And then I'm just going to show you two more. And you know what? I'll flip this over just so you can see it better. But this is the perforating blade. And the perforating blade can really have a couple of different purposes too. Now, let me just find a good spot to show this. Hold on. This might be a tricky one to see. No, I wonder if it'll be better if I turn the slide out. Hold on a sec, let's just try it. I think you can see it a little bit, but the perforating blade, I'm gonna hold this up, it's cool. Oh, here we go. It gives kind of a stitching effect to the paper, right? Can you see right there? That's what the perforating blade, whoops, let's get that back in. This is a tricky one to show, but do you see that? So you could either give that stitched effect on your page, or you could even just tear it off, right? Look at that. So the perforating blade to me is almost multi-purpose. You know, you could use it as a way to score paper. You could use it for stitching on a page, or, you know, sometimes people are making tickets or little things they wanna detach. And then all you'd have to do is break it apart like that, okay? And it'll go all the way down. So that's the perforating blade. And then the other one I wanted to show you, I'm gonna put this light back on, is the scoring blade. And the scoring blade is how we got this nice crisp seam down the middle to create a card. So at the end of the day, it could look something like this but we start with the blank white card and then create from here, all right? This card is from the um, Made For You card kit. I love their card kits. I believe they come 12 to a package and everything in the kit is labeled. So all pieces for card number one are labeled 1A, 1B, 1C, and the little instruction sheet for each card, which is pretty cool. Um, because then you know exactly what you're supposed to do. But quite frankly, these kits are pretty easy. Some, some of the cards, I would say a, a majority of the cards, I don't even really need the instructions. They just come together so quickly and so easily. So if you haven't had a chance to explore our card kits, definitely give those a look. All right, so now I wanna show you how to create two different looks from one blade. And the process is the same for any of these three blades. So we have the stamping blade, the Victorian blade, and the scallop blade. All right. So you're going to take your piece of paper. Whoops. I can pick it up. Goodness for my multi-purpose tool. And the first thing you want to do is pick the blade you want to work with. So I'm going to use the scallop blade. Now for every blade that I use, it doesn't matter which one, I always put it in. So the CM little shutterfly here and the name of the blade always face to the left. So when I put it in the housing unit, it's going to go to the left. All right, so I'm going to close that. And when you make your first cut, I would advise you to just put your paper up to the second cut line. 
or the cut line that's on the right hand side. All right. Because then you're just going to make a little cut. And you have to put a little more pressure when you're using the decorative blades. All right. So you just get a little strip like this to come off. And as you can see, I've done this a few times. <laughs> so there's the little strip. Now, if I were to move this over to get a one inch strip, I would line it up at the one inch mark, the tallest part of the um, decorative feature would line up on that one inch line. And I would go ahead and cut. But if I do that, it's not going to give me the scallop look, it's going to give me the little wave look on this side. So I can do one of two things, but the easier thing to do is really just turn your paper. So you're going to line it up on this one inch mark. So let me just show that again so you get that concept. Instead of moving your paper more to the right and just cutting as is, I want you to turn that paper so the decorative edge is facing all the way to the left and you're gonna line up on this one inch mark instead. So let me just line that up like so. All right, I think that looks pretty even. And now look, I get the same look on both sides, scallops here on the left and scallops here on the right. Now, let's just show you what would happen. So right now, on this side, I have what looks like the little waves. If I just line this up to the one inch line and I don't turn my paper, look what happens. On one side, I get the scallop look, and on the other side, I get the wave look, all right? So the only trick to this is, if you see here, I still have the wave look here. So if I leave it this way, the next cut will be a scallop. But if I turn my paper and line it up accordingly, now this will both have on both sides the wave effect or whatever you want to call this look i think it looks like a wave so that's why i call it the wave all right so and that will work with the stamping blade with the victorian blade and with the scallop blade all right so again quick things to remember keep the logo and the name they're on one side of your blade, always put that into your housing unit on the left-hand side. So then all you have to do is make one cut and turn your paper. Make your second cut and your two cuts will look identical. All right, so this was a very quick, brief video tonight. Um, I am getting ready to go to the Creative Minds Conference in Minnesota. So myself and a few of my teammates are going out there for a few nights. We're going to get to meet other Creative Memories advisors. We're going to get to um, go to different um, classes and workshops and do a lot of networking and meeting of people. So I'm really excited. I'm glad that you all could join me tonight, and I hope that this was helpful. And um, I hope you all have a great night and a fabulous week. Thanks so much for watching, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye for now.